イギリスのクリストファー・パッテン国際顧問にお願いいたします。Your Imperial Highness,、uh, winners of the Premium Imperiale, ladies and gentlemen.、Um, each year, one of the many reasons for coming to Japan, whose charms、uh, Secretary Clinton mentioned in the autumn,、uh, is to、uh, celebrate the, Imperial,、uh, the Premium Imperiale.、Um, we are encouraged to. Come together in October、um, in what my dad, who was a professional musician at the beginning of his career, would have called our glad rags, looking like a rather respectable dance band from the 1950s. In order to、uh, pillage the thesaurus, to find adequate ways of expressing our gratitude to and our enthusiasm about. The winners of the prize, and to uh, express um, occasionally with um, novelty, though inevitably um, the platitudes um, bounce around, which are of course true, uh, about the relationship between human values and the arts, about the importance of the arts, about uh, beauty. Uh, in all our lives. And the issue isn't one which is country or continent specific. A few years ago, we gave the award to the great Chinese dissident, Ai Weiwei, Ai Weiwei who、uh, once said, while expressing、um, his In views, his views about freedom, indeed, he, he breathes freedom. He, he once said that、uh, the, the planet, the world was a sphere, and there wasn't an east and a west. And there certainly isn't an east and a west when it comes to、uh, the arts and culture and beauty. You don't have to be、um, a Postgraduate student in astrophysics to understand the beauty of a tree in springtime as it waits for its wedding, or to、uh, recognize when you look at a night sky, either in, at dawn or in the evening, that、uh, Joseph Turner slightly underdid the colors in his painting、uh, of the sky at those times of the day. So, we all,、uh, I think, understand beauty and its importance and the arts in our lives. Yesterday, we began these、uh, celebrations with a, an evening at the Meiji Shrine. And when we were listening to the clapping and the drums, Um, I couldn't help recalling a psalm which was put to music 500 years ago, almost, by Orlando Gibbons.、Uh, it included the lines that、uh, when God rises,、um, we should be wary, merry.、Uh, the Lord rises to the sound of the trumpet. Well, we'd heard the drums. And we'd heard the clapping. We hadn't heard the trumpet. And then Winter Marsalis played for us, and we did. And it reminded me of a, an anecdote which my dad used to tell, which I've tried to check out with Mr. Marsalis, that Louis Armstrong used to say, You blows what you is. 
And they all, even if they don't play the trumpet, blows what they are. They give us uh, moments of joy, hours of joy. But they also give us uh, a sense that they have seized the hour and created the hour, as well as getting us to enjoy it. And what they get us to recognize, I think, is the extraordinary ways in which we have to try to uh, negotiate, find a way through the predicaments of being a human being. They find ways in which blowing, they find ways in which they can cease to explain to us the relationship between humans and the planet which we're busy pillaging. They explain to us as well, I think, how there could be another world in which to borrow from words which I suspect were probably said in the hearing of Secretary Clinton a few years ago. Enough of blood, enough of tears. And I think that they also, to borrow from um, one of my favorite poets, um, the great uh, Welsh poet, um, they uh, show us, Dylan Thomas, how we can go gently into the night, raging, raging against the darkness and the darkening night. And what they all do, I think, is to provide us with um, a way of recognizing the light is coming. They provide uh, candles for us. Um, so I think we're all hugely grateful to them and uh, recognize the contribution which they and other artists make to the challenges and the joys and ultimately the triumphs of being human. <laughs>